Consider these contrarian picks. As the street becomes less worried about interest rates' impact on small and medium companies, these tech stocks to buy on weakness will shoot higher. Roku. Worries about the impact of the acquisition of a competitor on Roku are way overdone. BlackBerry. The company's app store for autos is shaping up to be huge. Supermicro. The firm is well positioned to benefit from the AI boom and share gains. Let's dive in. The hot list. Here are the three tech stocks worth buying on weakness. Welcome to Timely Investment Research. In a previous video, which I recorded on February 25th and was published on February 27th, I hypothesized that small cap and mid cap stocks would rally as they manage to obtain funding despite high interest rates, as the street generally becomes more upbeat about equities, and as bears gave up shorting small cap and mid cap names. On February 27th, the Russell 2000, dominated by small cap stocks, climbed 1.34% to within a percentage point of its highest level since October 2021, suggesting that my thesis could have some validity. I believe that similar, positive catalysts will propel the shares of many currently unloved tech stocks with strong, long-term outlooks higher. Specifically, as a large number of these firms show that they are able to obtain capital, as their positive catalysts bear fruit, and as the street becomes more upbeat about equities in general, the shares of these tech stocks will rally. Here are three such tech stocks to buy on weakness. Number 1. Roku. Roku reported strong fourth quarter results on February 15 as its top line jumped 13.5% versus the same period a year earlier while it added 10 million net new accounts versus fourth quarter of 2022, bringing its total number of accounts to a very impressive 80 million. Also importantly, its operations generated $256 million of cash last year, up from just $11.8 million in 2022. However, Roku stock has crashed over 30% since the report. The street is focusing on Walmart's acquisition of one of Roku's competitors, Vizio. In a note to investors on February 27, Wells Fargo downgraded Roku to underweight, based on the idea that the retailer accounts for about one-third of the sales of Roku's devices, while also generating a significant amount of its ad revenue. However, I believe that these fears are way overdone. While Walmart will work hard to promote Vizio, Roku's very high popularity and strong growth will prevent the retailer from refusing to sell Roku TVs or pulling its ads from Roku altogether. After all, I do not believe that Walmart will want to harm itself by missing opportunities to profit from consumers looking for Roku TV or by giving up opportunities to show ads to the company's huge user base. Number 2. BlackBerry BlackBerry stock has tumbled 40% since December 15. However, the firm, which specializes in IT security and providing software and operating systems for automobiles, plans to maintain a positive net cash position throughout the coming fiscal year, which starts on March 1st, and to be operating cash flow positive by the last quarter of its upcoming fiscal year. Also importantly, Ivy, BlackBerry's middleware system for automobiles, appears to be gaining significant traction. I think of Ivy as an app store for automobiles because it will allow automakers to easily sell many apps to their customers. Given how lucrative app stores have been for Alphabet and Apple, I believe that Ivy can be a game changer for BlackBerry. It's surely one of those tech stocks to buy on weakness. Very encouragingly, during a February interview, Tim Foote, BlackBerry's head of investor relations, said, we have proof of concept trials. Now going on with some larger automaker, while John Wall, the co-head of BlackBerry Technology Solutions, reported that I'm seeing automakers cooperating with IVUA that I never thought I would see. Finally, BlackBerry is working on separating its slowly growing cybersecurity business from its auto unit, which is expected to grow at a 20% annual clip, and had a $640 million backlog as of the end of last quarter while generating gross margins of 80%. I believe that the firm could be looking to generate huge value for shareholders by selling its cybersecurity unit, causing investors to focus on its hugely successful, high-potential auto unit. Number 3. Supermicro Supermicro has sunk 21% from its all-time high price of $1,077 as the street worries about its valuation and its decision, announced on February 23rd to issue $1.5 billion of convertible notes. However, the shares forward price earnings ratio of 28 times is quite attractive for this very rapidly growing company, which is highly leveraged to the AI boom. 
and the dilution caused by the issuance of its convertible bonds will soon be forgotten by large investors as the street once focused on the huge demand for its hardware which facilitates the creation of AI. Also noteworthy is that investment bank Rosenblatt hiked its price target on the shares to $1.300 from $700, citing the firm's ability to benefit from the AI boom, along with market share gains which could reach an annualized 10% in the long term. Rosenblatt believes that the company's earnings per share could exceed $60 in fiscal 2026, up from the $22 that analysts, on average, expect this year. This makes it one of those tech stocks to buy on weakness. Thanks for spending some time with us today, Timely Investment Research. We're so glad you did. If you found value in today's video, please give us a like, hit that bell icon to never miss an upload, and hey don't forget to subscribe.